Hello everyone, welcome to Angels of the Earth Tarot, Gemini. Lovely to have you back with us. And for all of you who subscribe to our channel, I just want to thank you each personally for subscribing because this helps our channel move forward to um, more people and it also helps me to continue to bring these videos to you for free as I do each week. So thank you very, very much um, personally from me to you guys for doing that. And for any of you who haven't subscribed yet, please do consider that before you leave. Um, now, what else is there? Um, we're going to take five cards first for you for this month. We're going to do something a little different, so the readings will, reading will be a little different. We're also going to try and do your reading for every week as well. Um, may not be as long as this one, but we'll try and do that. I have been very, very busy, so that's why I haven't had one each week uh, during the month of July. We're going to try and get back to that. So we'll just cut the cards. Okay, first of all, this is the basis of the situation. So at the moment, um, some of you will be feeling quite lost, out in the cold, lonely, um, anything along those lines. Now, it is a general reading, so let it resonate as it resonates for you and your circumstances, okay? In the present, um, your desire is to have more communication with those around you for some reason. There's some reason for this. You want more give and take with someone in your life. It could be a one person. Um, the positive side of your reading is the Queen of Wands. So I do see you getting your confidence back regarding the circumstances that you're in at the moment. I do see things improving. The negative energy is the chariot. So there's movement here, but we will have a look at that with the clarifying cards. And your outcome is the world. So things are definitely going to move forward for you. If you need a new cycle, things are going to start moving shortly for you. And I do see the fulfillment of this card here. I do feel that people will be um, involving themselves more in whoever you are looking for in your life they will be coming back into your world, let's put it that way. But let's get some clarifying cards and look at this Five of Pentacles down here first. So this is the energy that you are in at the moment with this Five of Pentacles, quite lost. Um, mm. So for some of you it's got the, we have the Knight of uh, Wands, which is an inconsistent energy or person who has, keeps coming in and out of your life. Uh, um, you know, you can apply this to finances as well. It could be finances which are causing you this um, sadness and this loss here, this feeling of, you know, really being low, energy being low. Um, and so your finances are just not enough to, um, you know, they're in and out, just, just, they're not balanced. So it's causing you difficulty. Um, you feel you're getting on top of things and then it just, you know, comes apart again because financially you're not able to make things um, work. Um, and it feels sometimes like a double-edged sword as with this Ace of Swords here. It could be regarding a person as well with this Knight of Wands here, someone who is in and out of your life and you feel like you just, you just want a decision to be made once and for all. However, apply this to your lives as um, it resonates, guys. Okay, now let's have a look at this Queen of Wands and see what the positives are in your life at the moment with the Queen of Wands. Okay, so for those of you who it's regarding a person, uh, there's an apology coming with the Page of Cups. They're looking at coming back into your life and offering you something with the Ace of Wands. Okay, that's a given. There's no other way to read that. That's And if it's confidence, you will be gaining your confidence back in a big way shortly. Okay, so there's something... And some, someone or something coming towards you shortly um, that will give you back your confidence and give you back your your desire for um, and your passion. This, this, is a, this is a card of, a, of a, a project or a passion, something you have passion for and enthusiasm for that you will be making work for you sh during the month of August. You're going to get there. You're going to achieve it. Definitely going to achieve it. Now let's have a look at the Chariot card. 
This is in the negative energy, so this is unusual because movement normally is um, means good things, moving forward, determination to make something work. Okay, so it seems that with the chariot card, it is going to move ahead for you, but at the moment you have been looking, you know, you've been indecisive about something in your life, about which way to move. So there's some decision in your life, some direction in your life, I would say, some direction. Now some of you, because it's the two of wands here, and you can see this, this um, globe in his hand, it's a decision regarding travel or moving. So it's, it's regarding movement or travel, transfer of some sort. So it could be uh, regarding this move, could be regarding, you know, moving house, um, moving country. Um, it could be because of the situation we're in with COVID at the moment that it is a, a problem for you. Um, and you've, you've really tried hard with the seven of wands to make it work and sort it out and solve it and it's not working for you. Perhaps that's why the... Um, six of Pentacles is here because you need help from other people to do this, and so it's 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 required you know a little bit of healing. Um, you, with this Star card, you still have this strong wish to make this work, to bring this about and move something forward in your life. It's definitely with this Star card and this Ace of Wands, and the World card here. There's something you really desperately want to make work in your life, and I do feel that you will achieve it in the end end. I really do. Let's just see if there are any cards for this world card here. Yeah. You're definitely going to make it because, yeah. <laughs> like I've got cards. Yeah, definitely. Oh, look. Okay. So we have a whole stream of cards here. Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful card. New cycle starting. It's going to require you to put the, um, just take the time to spend a lot of time thinking about this situation so that you can bring this Ace of Wands about. Okay, put the time in. Um, it may require you to have a look around you at others and uh, make use of those around you. We've got again, you see, with this, this card here, the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, you know, there's those around you who will be willing to help you in this respect. Um, Spirit is saying here, don't forget to look at things a different way. You know, we, we tend to look at things one way because that's our background, that's our upbringing. Look at things, have a new perspective, be prepared to look at things differently. Do things differently than you may be expected, uh, that you may be used to doing. We also have the Six of Wands. You definitely have this new perspective, new ways of doing things is going to move whatever it is forward that you're looking for and it's going to bring the outcome you want with the Ten of Ten of Cups. So this is a beautiful read, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me here on Angels of the Earth Tarot. And there will be another read for you, hopefully each week this month. I'm going to try and get that out for you. And again, I thank you for joining us. So bye for now.